Um, this uh, this high wind thing is, is a real problem. We had is an this? incident at, at our building where an old lady went flying and broke her uh, arm or something. When? It was a few months ago. Oh. From the wind? Dude, where we live uh, on the river, the wind really yep. gets crazy. And then I guess because it's blown between the buildings, you could get some freaking lift. I literally have to lean into it. It's, literally, it's, it's amazing. It's called Millionaire's Row. And I have to. <laughs> no, but you have to lean into the fucking wind and just like kind of lean forward and walk. It's it's like forty mile an hour gusts. It's no joke. Uh, they, yeah. they warn you before you leave the building. Sometime a uh, high wind that uh, must be great alert. in the winter when it's just oh, it's horrendous. Like the wind chill factor is minus Dude, thirty. It it's fucking awful. They call it uh, they call it hat hell. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a hat hell alert. <laughs> Jesus. It's true. <laughs> Cancer wigs getting blown off. It can be very amusing. Somebody thinks they've been fooling people. <laughs> no, I'm not sick. I've been exercising. <laughs> the hair goes flying. <laughs> they're, they're saying hello to bald burn victims. Because <laughs> their wigs come off too. <laughs> Everyone's just... What's the matter? Old anus lips is chasing his hair down the street. <laughs> Who, perpetually surprised face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the wind is making the two holes in his head whistle. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, the guy with the <laughs> the guy with his glasses duct taped to his head. That guy is chasing a fucking awful hair hat. <laughs> my my hat, my hat. <laughs> 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 As a sign of his respiratory system. <laughs> yeah, he's got no, it's just two holes in the front of his face. How does he talk? <laughs> my heart, my heart, with his asshole lips like his anus lips. Someone got my heart. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, I can talk out of the side of the mouth. That's so terrible. <laughs> There's really uh, no reason for that. He's always surprised that he lost his hair. Of course he is. I heard old paint on lashes had to run down the street oh, today. <laughs> just, just fucking tears are just blowing past him through his, his eyelids can't shut. There's a fucking, there's a, there's a Mets hat with hair in it. <laughs> it's a one-piece ensemble. <laughs> That fucking ill-fitting uh, tuft of wig. That <laughs> shitty <laughs> old fucking Lego person. <laughs> <laughs> holy, holy no reason for it. Yeah, I love it. It's too goddamn funny. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. Uh, whew. So we got a chihuahua. <sighs> right, right. The wind. Jimmy's going to die over here. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the way he talks. It makes you laugh so much. My heart. My heart. My heart. Oh, the lips only half work. Of course they do. That's what happens when fire hits your face. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, fuck. Jesus. I don't think we need a visualization wow. of it, Danny. That yeah. just makes it sad. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just, wow, you're having so much fun with oh, it. Oh, God, he's like old plunger face. <laughs> These are, are the people you're hurting. Oh. Yeah, I like seeing the people we're hurting and making fun of. <laughs> right. No. Um, uh, speaking oh, of the old... God, <laughs> the old picture ruiner. Oh, Let me see it. One of these things is not like the other. Oh, man, that's just fucking horrendous. That's really bad. That's sad. Fire sucks. <laughs> it really is a bitch. Man. Uh, so we have a chihuahua. Yes. Flew okay. away. High wind. Oh. And uh, Anthony from Vegas. Oh. Remember I was saying that old lady went flying and broke something? I think it was her arm. Uh, he writes, did she get the flu? <laughs> Opie. Ah, oh, see, because she... <laughs> Yeah, she um, it flew away. Flew. Yeah. <laughs> well, a local woman was heartbroken after this weekend's nasty weather left her in a horrible situation. And it sounds hard to believe, but it's true. The high winds literally swept her dog away. This happened at a flea market in Waterford. It is a, a really unusual way to lose a pet. 
Devin, unusual to say the least. Now, put yourself in this situation. Imagine your family pet, the, your pride and joy. Now, Press. it literally got blown <laughs> away joy, in Jerry. front of your <laughs> eyes from the wind. Now, it's like a, a scene right out of the movie, I should say. And it really happened to one local couple here. And this weekend's weather, well, it's to blame. They tried to catch it too, but nobody could. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. The wind had her, and she was just going on, and her collar was found across the street. This weekend, we found ourselves... <laughs> what is she being tortured? Is she space? <laughs> she got kidnapped. We found one shoe. Uh, <laughs> the collar was across the street. Yes, there was a note that said, woof. And you know what was her flying? <laughs> Stupid old lady just wants to be left alone with her dumb chihuahua. You know, the thing was, was flying gun. like a superhero, either that it was just tumbling and yeah. banging on the yeah. ground and rolling. Shit was flying out of it, <laughs> yeah. pissing in the circle. <laughs> Nervous idiot. That stupid panicked look on its face. Yeah. <laughs> dog doesn't understand the wind. Shaking. <laughs> yes. Stupid dog. This proves there's no God. Old lady, all she wants to do is uh, be yeah. left alone with her dumb chihu chihuahua. 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 Street. This weekend, we found ourselves right in the middle of violent rain showers and whipping winds across Metro Detroit. Thousands were left without power, but this storm was more difficult for one family when 70 mile per hour winds swept up their most prized possession, their Chihuahua Tinkerbell. It's been very uh, upsetting. Even some of our children have been crying. They come down from the pier in Flint and our grandson. Maybe you shouldn't name it Tinkerbell. Yeah, it's supposed to fly. Right. Tinkerbell. All right, now, Devin and Ruth, I am pleased to tell you that this story has a very happy ending. I am not only joined by Dorothy and Laverne Utley, but Tinkerbell as well. Now, we are all so happy that Tinkerbell made her way home. Tell me how it happened, Dorothy. Well, we... We had a local radio wow. station this, this bunch morning of fucking for about two and a half hours, and a psychic had called, and she had told us that we were doing the wrong thing. She told us what to do. And we went and found her. And she told you the exact location to look. A psychic? She, did. she told yes, us the the burn yard. found her. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> the dog blew through her bay window. <laughs> <laughs> Landed in her soup. <laughs> <laughs> What a, what kind of crap is that? A psychic told her where the dog is. She can't find missing children, but she hears something barking. She knew which way the wind was blowing. Yeah. Check the weather. I mean, yeah, yeah. We how, have an how, easterly wind. Well, I think your dog is east. <laughs> Probably threw a softball up in the air and waited to see where that landed. Yeah. Said, all right, your, your dog's around there. Yeah, it wasn't like it was like a four-hour wind, right? It's a nice <laughs> gust of yeah, wind. Right. Where is it? It's uh, you know about 30 yards that way. Over there. Oh, there's Tinkerbell. Hind legs are broken. That's sort of dragging himself back. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore is very angry today. He just writes, Tinkerbell's a cunt. Oh, wow. Wow. No need for Told us talk. and Burn found her. She, she'd come out of the woods running like a little rabbit. Right and, there, Burn. And it's, is it true that Tinkerbell really flew <laughs> over for, for six miles? Bit. She flew, oh, flew, and then she went. And she went over three lanes, over, on Dixie into the woods. And that's where she was. Well, Dorothy and Laverne, yeah. we are so thrilled here at Channel 4. And all of our viewers are too yeah. to have no, Tinkerbell not. home. Yeah. And no, say not. thank are you yeah. for being thank with us tonight. Much. Devin and Ruth will send it back to you. What oh, a remarkable you. story. Oh, that's incredible. what a remarkable The dog got blown across the street. Yeah. The news and was, it's a giant story. The news was hoping they were, they were going to find Tinkerbell and they'd have to scrape her off the front of a fucking Mack truck or <laughs> yeah. something. Tinkerbell get blown into a lawnmower blade. Right, right. <laughs> Little feet. They're not happy that there's a happy ending. They want to see the old broad crying as they head over the dead carcass of Tinkerbell. From the stumps. <laughs> yeah. It would have been funny if Tinkerbell got blown into the face of an invalid and knocked him out of his chair. <laughs> was enough tragedy for this news station. Uh, it would have been a feel-good story because Tinkerbell left <laughs> In the behind, like them interviewing the old lady, and see them like picking the wheelchair back up, <laughs> lift the guy up. Jesus, <laughs> it wasn't happy for everyone. <laughs> old, his Reattached life. his IV. He had his oh, piss shit. bag. <laughs> the dog blew into his face, <laughs> knocked him over. <laughs> Holy mother of God. Just in the background of the news story, you just see them riding the chair. <laughs> With the guy in it. <laughs> the guy in it. <laughs>
I can't even fucking breathe. <laughs> wow. Ah. <laughs> that's, that story is um, adorable. Yeah, the headline's great. great. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a flying chihuahua. <laughs> Enough about the chihuahua. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Blew away. It's not like it's an elephant. It's a fucking small dog. <laughs> Just a shit. Yeah, <laughs> shit. You're really right. If there's a lot of something, then it doesn't matter if we lose one. Right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs>